Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiast here, and in this OMSI 2 tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can fully remove a mod from OMSI 2, whether it be a map, usually it's going to be a map because realistically buses are easy to remove, but it's going to be the maps that we're going to focus on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can fully remove a map from OMSI 2. So what that means is remove its splines, objects, and... You can also move the fonts if you want, but to be honest, uh, it's not really necessary, it's mainly the objects and splines. Now one thing to bear in mind is, unfortunately, doing this in OMC2 is a rather long and painstaking process, and the reason for that is because in contrast to other subject, in, contra in contrast to other uh, games, a lot of the dependencies that are used by one map are used by other maps, so you need to be very careful that when you are uninstalling a map in OMC2, you don't end up when you're moving a map on OMSI 2, you want to make sure you don't end up deleting objects or splines that are used by other maps because then other maps won't work anymore. So an example for this is, say if we want to remove Grainsboro from OMSI 2, if we delete everything associated with Grainsboro, then Scunthorpe won't work either because Scunthorpe and Grainsboro use the same splines, so you can't just delete all the splines and objects that come with the map because oftentimes they are used within other add-ons as well, and that's why often on OMSI 2, when you're dragging over folders, you get the question, the prompt on WinRAR, do you want to replace files? So, anyhow, with that out of the way, with that little uh, important side note out of the way, we'll get to it. Okay, so, what you want to do is you want to navigate to your OMC2 folder, like so, and then you want to go into your Maps folder. So, you need to decide which map you want to remove. So, in my case, the map I want to remove is Friedrich Schagen Fantasy version 4 or version 5. And the reason for that is because this map here um, basically doesn't work on my PC because I'm missing dependencies and so on. Now, one thing to bear in mind is deleting the map by itself is pretty pointless because, as you can see, the map is 32.9 megabytes. So, what's taking up space on your OMSI2 directory is not the maps, but it's the objects and the splines. So, what we need to do is we need to look at this here. So, you need to look at the date modified. So, as you can see here, this was modified on the 18th of August 2016, and this is important because this will indicate to us when we can expect that the objects that came with this map and the splines that came with this map were modified, and therefore, which objects and splines to remove. So, what we do now is we delete this, but we need to remember this number, so you might want to write that down. So, once we do that, just click delete, and go back to your OMC2 folder, and then let's go to objects, uh, scenery objects here. So, then what we want to do is sort this by date modified. And we want to go all the way down until we find the 18th of, Aug 18th of August 2016, or a date very close to it. So, as you can see, this will go from top to bottom. So, there we go, 2016. So, the 17th of August is basically a day before the 18th. So, we're going to assume, uh, safely so, that these are the objects that came with this map. So, what we want to do now is we want to click Shift. We want to click left-click and then Shift. And then we want to right-click and click cut. Now the reason we're not deleting this is because we don't actually know if any of these objects are used by a different map. So we can't just go ahead and delete this because if we delete this we run a very high risk of breaking another map or add on an OMC2. And one thing to bear in mind is a lot of these dependencies may not be available anymore so you want to be very careful with this. So then what we do is click new and folder and then what we're going to do is we're going to paste this in here like so. So then you have this as a um, backup. Now you need to do, you want to do the same thing for splines, but to be honest, I would refrain from removing splines because um, splines tend to be used a lot by other um, other games, and as you can see, the splines don't take up a lot of space. If we take a look at the scenery objects, just to quickly take a look and see how much space it takes up, we will see that it takes up a lot of space. It's probably the main thing that takes up space in Amstrad 2. So I'm just going to let this one in the background. So at the moment my OMC2 folder is around 130 gigabytes, and most of it is probably made up of scenery objects, so that is one thing to bear in mind. Now one other thing is, this is what I advise people when installing maps. First of all, before you install the map, make sure that you have all the dependencies. So if there are paper add-ons required, make sure you have those. And make sure that the map, if say if you're downloading a map that's in a different language to yours, make sure it's written in the same character. So for example, I can only run maps that use English characters. If I go and install a map, that is, say, uses a Cyrillic alphabet, chances are, if any of the objects are written in Cyrillic, it won't work. So then what happens is, I've added 5 gigabytes to my OMC2 directory for a map that doesn't work. So, a lot. the key thing about OMC2 is plan ahead. Only add add-ons you know for certain you're going to play and that you can run. 
So that's just a little handy tip there. So as you can see, this is about 45 gigabytes. So this is what takes up a lot of space. And then just take a look at fonts. I don't think fonts take up too much space. Yeah, one gigabyte. So now what we need to do is, this is a problem. You need to go into your blue sky and then you need to check that all the other maps aren't missing objects now because if any of the maps are missing any objects in that folder we're going to have to add them back so this might be a very long process depending on how many maps you have so as you can see here uh, I've got quite a few maps to go to so if you start with the airport map we've got one this two and then what we do is we check there's no objects missing and then we need to go back and we need to do this for every single map and this is important because you just want to make sure you haven't broken any other maps. So once you do this and you verify that no other maps are missing objects, since none of those objects are anymore in your OMC2 folder, then you can slate, you can safely remove those objects. So I'm not going to do this uh, for every single object because obviously it's going to take uh, a while. As you can see, now one thing is to bear in mind is some, uh, some maps may be broken already. So for me, um, I think which map was broken. For me, I had one map that was broken already. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I mean to find it. This one here is Shavos. I was missing objects from this. So just ma just make sure you know which object which maps were working beforehand. So then once you're done with that and once you verify there's no missing objects, then you can delete this. If you find that there is a missing object and it is called one of these, then what you want to do is you want to put this back into your OMC2 folder. And to be honest, that is the easiest way to remove a map and its objects from the game folder. It's not the best solution. It can take a while, but this is why I advise you get the blue sky tool. The link up to it is in the description and this is generally faster than map tools. So uh, once you once you this and verify all this, you can safely delete this and we'll take a look how much space this takes up so it's not too much. Anyway. And that's really it. That's how you can remove um any add-on from OMC2. And um if you have any questions or queries, don't forget to comment down below. I know this is not, you know, a perfect solution. I know that, you know, um, uh, it's not ideal, but unfortunately, that's the way it is with OMC2. It's not easy to remove add-ons. There's this long, there's this uh, long verification process, but this is the safest way to do so. If you just want to clear all your add-ons from OMC2, then you can just uninstall OMC2, delete everything that's remained, and then reinstall OMC2, but then everything will be wiped. And But I do recommend you tread it very carefully because a lot of dependencies aren't available anymore, or you have to go through the painstaking uh, process of finding them. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. For more OMC2 tutorials, videos, and so forth, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's it for now. Until next time.